responsibility of the okay, police forces of Boston, no. Toronto, for the U-20 summit is to protect the perimeter of the security site. This is what we want today. The tactic of criminal destruction of property was intended quite clearly to draw the police resources away from that responsibility on the summit perimeter and in, into the northern part of our city. I am profoundly disappointed in the criminal acts which have taken place. We have seen windows broken and police cars burned. It is very regrettable that such vandalism and violence could not be prevented. But I want to assure you that the persons responsible will be held accountable. We know members, many of the members of these groups. Over the past several days, we have apprehended many of their leaders. Tonight, we began removing members of the mob from our streets, and so far tonight, 75 persons have been taken into custody. These arrests will continue as is necessary. Those responsible for acts of vandalism will be held accountable. We know who many of them are, and we have photographs of many others. The people of Toronto can be assured of our commitment to the safety of our city and of our citizens. They can also be assured that we will maintain the security of the summit as we have committed to do. In order to restore calm in our streets and to preserve public safety, we are required and are asking for the public's help. These criminals rely on the anonymity of hiding within a larger group of the curious and the naive. If you do not wish to be involved with the police, please leave the area when asked to do so. I ask all of the citizens of Toronto for their patience and for their support. We are working hard to maintain order and to restore the rule of law. I would also like to take the opportunity to thank my officers and all of the police services who have worked tirelessly today. They have been pelted with rocks and bottles, they have been spit upon, and they have been assaulted but they have not wavered in their dedication to duty. They deserve your respect, and they will always have mine. Thank you.